the warmer weathers is letting things start to take off growing around here or lettuce and uh, blue scots kale is um, taking off the lettuce is doing real good this lettuce I can't know what name of it is it's a sweet tasting lettuce the loose leaf my eggplants are taking hold and um, that thing's looking pretty decent around here and I found my first bloom on something other yesterday or no, early this morning when I was walking around out here but I'm going to take a walk around that quick and show you how the things are growing. I'm kind of pleased, but there again, we've got storms coming in tonight. Again, again, we're getting rain here in, through central Arkansas. So uh, let's do a quick little tour here. and I try to make this, not make this thing too long for you, but I want to show you what I've seen this morning early. So let's start this thing, all right? Hold on. As I said, that's our lettuce right here. And our kale, blue scotch kale there, but this lettuce is, I mean, it is good. Sweet tasting. So there's a kale right there, you can put the size to it. This lettuce over here, this raised bed here. Y'all remember the ones that's been on my channel? I caught all the slugs in here last year, my grandson was here. I got slugs in here again. I thought the ducks and the chickens would go through here and get all these out, but they didn't. I've been finding a few on here already. A cauliflower is getting taller. This is my eggplants through here. I planted them just the other day, remember? The squash here, the cooked neck squash. Some of them get some size to them. Our tomatoes, you remember, I put them out kind of early. Well, actually, John put them out kind of early. That cold spell come through. Thought we might lose them, but they're actually trying to grow. Even this little one right here, got new growth coming out. These are uh, pepperoncini peppers through here. He got two rows of them. So, things are starting to take off. We sure don't need no more rain, but hey, good Lord giving us the rain, and nothing we can do about it. We just gotta deal with it. But uh some of the plants I have this wet in, it's kind of struggling. See they go on up there is different. So I think it's gonna be alright though. Just walk on up this way. Our little experiment up here. That we're doing. These are the rattlesnake pole beans. And rattles, the asparagus beans and rattlesnake pole beans. We're going to let them go up this gazebo up here. Hopefully they'll cover it. They're, they're growing. Now I got my peppers around that way. And peppers around this way, on this horseshoe right here. My uh, zucchini. It's looking good. I think it's going to pull through, but it is. All the cabins are still doing pretty good over here. But let me get, where did I see that little thing this morning? Here it is, right here. This is our Alaska snow peas. That's the first bloom I found. These things, are, well, here's another one going to open up right there. So, um, they're climbing on up here. I think they're going to go on up this trellis like John was wanting to do. These blue beans are getting some high to them. So, oh, here's some blooms over here too on these last snow peas. So, I think they're going to do what we want them to do is follow this trellis all the way over. These bush beans here, this thing gets a, gets a good size to it right there. We are going to cut these here rattlesnake pole beans here back. Patrick Farr told me that uh, 
mentioned they went out they told me they mentioned if you give them too thick they fight for nutrients but the bushes on out quite a bit so um, I don't quite know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna, we took a row out over there I'll show you in a minute so I may take a row of this here I'll put four, four rows going down through there let me go this way going this way there's four rows across there we cut some the other day and gave them to the critters you see how narrow this row here is how wide this row is we took one row out over here we may go and cut another row out on both sides over here this side right here we took a row out so it's a little bit narrower and they should go on up this cattle panel trellis here so it's jump across the creek or cucumbers over here it's still struggling to get a hold in it but I got some more cucumbers I'm gonna plant these that die off in my dupas which is right down here they're, t they're trying to get going but I'm happy with our potatoes coming up now through there we gotta put some more straw through there and uh, build that on up a little bit so but all in all the rooster garden is up and going so we still got a few projects we're working on our corn is getting tall enough in there to, to go ahead and put in here okra is going to be over here they're growing up we're going to put them in the ground so in the snow peas over there on trellis over there you know, where the bricks are there they're coming up through there if you can see them this place where they're hanging over the brick right there the garlic and onions they're not quite getting enough sunlight over there my pepper plants I put in here this is my cow horn pepper here's some uh, extra plants we have left here some Tabasco or banana peppers Tabasco cucumbers those are my sunflowers I got to get in the ground and I got a serrano pepper over here these right here is going to be my uh, Tom um, uh, I forgot what I call them, something like toe, Tommy Toes. Tommy Toes, the maze I had left over or, or, or the patio and stuff. These are John's Colises. They're trying to get going there. So, maybe these here carrot shavings out here for the critters to eat on. We have got to get out here inside the greenhouse and get these cucumbers started tying up. We got a rope right here, we gotta tighten it up. I'm using this string right here. This fluorescent yellow string this year right here, so I can see them a lot better when it's all green, this yellow gonna stand out a lot better. But all these tomatoes, all these tomatoes are looking good. Some of them get so big they're starting to fall over. The cucumbers, they got to start going up. The peppers over here. I got some. These are growing quite a bit the last few days. These Advarskis right here, they're doing really well, really well. Can't wait to get some more of these Advarskis. And I got some Carolina Reapers that way. I got a mix of peppers out here along this west side of the greenhouse. But, um, these are doing a lot better in here, it's a lot warmer in here. Getting good moisture in the ground by the roots down there. Hopefully I have some good early ripe tomatoes in here. For too long, I know a couple months, but you see the cucumbers down there, you know, this the ready to start going up with the string, so yeah. Summer is on its way and the rooster garden is on its way and we got a few more things inside the window greenhouse here. Let me show you right quick what's going on in here still. We still have my uh, cherry tomatoes in here. Got some extra brandy wine there. Here's the okra starts up here, okra starts up there. 
I got a Napa Chardonnay here, some more red currant. These here are some more Rutgers tomatoes. Like I said, you know, we still got some odd plants up here, cherry tomatoes. More sunflowers got to get out. Extra Amish paste tomatoes down here. Here's the little corn starts. I'm gonna, I gotta water these too. But uh, this is the yellow sweet corn right here. So, like I said, you know, it's coming along. This warm weather is having a tremendous amount. So, um, but a few more months, it'll look like a jungle in the greenhouse, and as they get started out here in the open garden out here. I can't wait to get some fresh cucumbers and tomatoes and lettuce and stuff make a salad out of. I'm going to start changing the uh, chicken and duck area back here tomorrow. I'm going to put the chickens in the back back there with a little garden greenhouse bowls I put up as a structure there. I'll, I'll put the box hit, hit, nesting box back there. Put a fence up and I'll put the ducks up here with the... the chicken house is right now chicken pen so we we'll change that around tomorrow I got one duck got a foot problem but don't know what it is I'm gonna get some pictures of it and post it and uh, maybe somebody tell me what it is what I can do about it she's limping pretty bad but I don't know what it's called so if I take a picture of it and post it maybe one of y'all could tell me uh, what to do about it and how I go about it so She's pretty sore. She's living quite a bit, but she's still laying. Laying some big old eggs, you know. So, but let me jump off of here. I'm going to feed these critters because when I walk back through this gate, it's going to get loud. And I give you an update on the Muscovy ducks and everybody else back here in the back part. Maybe tomorrow. So, you're, I'm going to get this posted sometime tonight for you in the morning. Y'all come on back to the rooster garden. Me and John's doing, doing a lot of things around here. So he's back to working, so it's up to me to get all this stuff done now. But like it was last year, so come on back for a visit and be safe. Have fun gardening and like I said, subscribe to the channel. And I appreciate y'all coming back and watching me from time to time. Take care. Bye. But it doesn't seem like uh, Rooster Jr. or ex Rooster Jr. or grandson Daniel or you're gonna be coming over this coming summer. Things is evidently come up. To not gonna be able to get over here. Just different things. I thought I'd let y'all know. I know some of y'all look forward to seeing him back over here this summer. See, he did a good job last summer. But things happen. Things don't always play out. So kids grow older. I'm gonna do their own little things, you know. He worked with that Xbox last summer, and he uh, seems to be enjoying it more than anything else. So, haven't heard from him in a good while. So, he more likely won't be coming back. I'm gonna find a little neighborhood kid around here that wants to work part time. Try to earn some money helping me around here since John's back to working. So. Thought I'd let y'all know just in case y'all start asking. But anyways, that's the way life is. The ball bounces and all that stuff. So.